Hey, Wen. What's up? This is Montpellier. Um, so I finally decided to sell my Diamond Elite Pro uh, Pitcher's Glove. I had about four of them when they first came out. Um, I actually had the entire series from thin fielders, 11 and a half, 11 and three quarter. Now fielders love. I actually had a school issue, Michigan State which I sold to a fellow alumni. Uh, so this is actually my last uh, DEP. It's really well made. This glove should last like years. I love the kept leather, split welting. The leather smells amazing. I never used it. As you can see, there's no palm crease whatsoever. The sticker did fall off, I ended up just putting a penny sleeve on it from the tackiness. I love the design of the webbing. And it's really damn well made. It's really hard saying goodbye to it, but uh, everyone has their price. So I'm currently trying to um, offload my collection and then just love imprints on it. It's just amazing. It's such a classic. Uh, now to say goodbye to it. Um, so yeah, the world made glove. I wish Nike would have continued making these for the public. I think they're kind of discontinuing due to a lack of sales, but I mean, that's one of their best gloves that they made, in my opinion, besides the um, Pro Gold Tradition, which they had. Um, the second series, not the first one. The first one had this annoying lining with um, fabric. It wasn't the Drylax, like my Pro Issue one. There's actually dry lux here. Let me see. Grab a flashlight. I'm not sure you can see it. But there's actually dry lux right there on top of the fingers. There's leather between slots and dry lux on top. So, just wish yeah, they would make more gloves like that. So, um, I Bento. Ciao. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I thought about doing a giveaway. If I hit like a thousand subscribers, I would give a free glove, uh, A2K or a Pro Prefer. But I have been so busy lately putting up videos. So, um, yeah, thanks.